One of the Lung Gang on my Reddit called Cozy Bear provided me with this beautiful 10 mark question. Uh, let's just do it, innit? It says y equals x squared r shine x. We have this uh, diagram there. Show that the shaded region is this absolutely stunning expression with the Lung Gang involved. So, uh, essentially what we're doing is we're just integrating between 0 and 3, right? So, from here, we are deciding, all right, how do we even integrate x squared r shine r shine x with respect to x between 0 and 3. Now, this is going to be a parts question, yeah, because we have a polynomial type expression and uh, an inverse hyperbolic. Now, there's a trick to this. Now, if we do parts, we're not actually able to leave the x squared because I don't know what r shine integrates to. So we're going to have to swap these around, okay? So usually, well, you guys should know by now that when I do parts, I use Liddy. What is Liddy? I don't do U and V, yeah? Ain't nobody got time for that. So usually what I do is I leave the first term, integrate the second, differentiate the first term, integrate the second. Here I'm going to leave the first term instead. So I get R shoin X. Then I integrate this instead. Yeah, x squared integrates to a third x cubed. Minus, differentiate this term. Okay, so remember I've swapped them around. Now, r shoin, uh, off the top of my head, I think is 1 over root x squared plus 1. I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, because it comes from the Chach formula, isn't it? Cool. And then we these two brackets are always the same. Now, one thing we can start doing here is we can start distributing these limits at the same time. So this, I can start evaluating this at 0 and 3. Uh, maybe it would be nice for us to do that, right? Because if I sub in 3 here, I get 3 cubed over 3, which is 9. I get 9 r shoin, uh, not x, 3, isn't it? Because I've subbed in 3. Uh, yeah. Minus, subbing in zero, actually, when you sub in zero into there, you just get zero. Okay, minus, this third I'm going to take out. Integral between zero and three, that x cubed I'm going to write on the top. Okay. Now, uh, r shoin three. Now, I know r shoin x is ln of x plus root x squared plus one. Think. Looking at the answer, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> yeah? So, R shoin of 3 is ln of 3 plus root 3 squared plus 1 is 10. So, I'm seeing where this comes from. Cool. So, we have, we have 9 ln 3 plus root 10 minus a third integral between 0 and 3 of x cubed, and also I've forgotten the root around that, right? x cubed over the root of x squared plus 1 dx. So it's up to us, or up to me, to find this integral, and then we'll put it back in with the third. Okay, so let's focus on that. So we have the integral between 0 and 3 of x cubed over root uh, x squared plus 1. Now, I feel like the only way to do this is by substitution. Um, it would have been nice if we could make a guess. I mean, if that numerator was just x, we would have been able to do that, but unfortunately we can't. So what substitution am I going to make? I'm going to let this be u. Okay, so... Um, we have to differentiate that, change dx into du, and I'm also going to have to change the limits, aren't I? So du dx is 2x. So switching these around, I get du divided by 2x is dx. That's my substitution. If we look at the limits, uh, these are x limits, right? So when x is 3, 
u is 10. And when x is 0, u is 1. So my integral is now between 10 and 1, x cubed over root u, yeah, because I let that be u, times du over 2x. Whoops. du over 2x. Which the 2x is going to cancel with the x cubed to make it x squared. And that 2 in the denominator is a half, right? I can take it out. So I get a half integral between 1 and 10. x squared. Now x squared is u minus 1 over root u. I'm actually going to write that as u to the half because of what I'm going to do next. Uh, how do we integrate that? We split the fraction, isn't it? So we're going to have u to the 1 divided by u to the half. We take away the powers. And here we just get 1 over u to the half. We're going to bring that up to make it u to the minus half. So we get this. OK, so integrating that is super simple. We have a half. Add 1 to the power be u to the 3 over 2. Divide by that is 2 thirds. Um, minus, add 1 to the power is a half. Divide by that is 2 between 1 and 10. OK, so something in 10 here is a bit aux. Because that 2 means you root it, then you're cubing it, right? So this is saying root 10 cubed which is root 10 times root 10 times root 10, which is 10 root 10, OK? So uh, that was just me showing you guys how that works. So when I sub in 10 here, I'm going to write 10 root 10. All right, so uh, cool. We have a half. 2 thirds times 10 root 10 minus, when you put 10 into this, easy, 2 root 10. Uh, minus, when you sub in 1, you just get 2 thirds minus 2. What's that? Uh, minus 4 thirds. Cool. I haven't used a calculator all this whole thing, so uh, maybe there's a non calculator question, which wouldn't make sense to be fair. It's a further maths question. So we have what? Uh, that's 2 over 1. That'll be 6. So it'd be 2 times 10 which is 20 minus 6, 14 root 10 over 3 plus 4 thirds. That half cancels the 14 and the 4 to make 2 and um, 7. So you get 7 root 10 plus 2 over 3. And that's that integral. Now we can go back to where we were before. So we get, so therefore, we have the 9 ln 3 plus root 10. Minus a third. Lots of 7 root 10 plus 2 all over 3. And they just wrote the 2 first. So we get our final beautiful solution. 9 ln 3 plus root 10. Uh, minus... A ninth they wrote it as, uh, 2 plus 7 root 10. And that is our solution for 10 marks. And this is a, a beautiful question. Thank you, uh, Cozy Bear, for this one. Guys, if you want to have more discussions about mathematics, we all want to do well. We want to become smarter. Head to the Lung Gang subreddit. Let's help each other out. If we have questions, obviously I can't answer all of them, but I'll do my best to be in the chat as well. So, guys. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe for more content like this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Nice.